Hi there, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. Feel, uh, Virgo, that you're going to, um, you are going to reach a point during this period of time where it's almost like you, you, you must make a decision about something. You must, um, um, sort of, you're, you're like put into a situation where you're like, I need to make a decision about this. Um, Wow. But this decision will speak to abundance. It will um, bring you into your, into your light, into the realization that you are a creator, that you create and you manifest your world, your light. It's up to you to step into the light, into the sun. You pulled the sun in reverse, the world upright and the mother of wands upright. So it's stepping into this, this um, sort of standstill moment where it's like, this is my chance to pursue the world, to take the reins and take control of my path forward in such a way that, that allows me to step into the light, into my light, right? Into what lights me up. And that will be sort of your entry into this brand new, enchanting stage in your journey forward. Okay. There's an otherworldliness absolutely to the three of wands as well um, to the world card. Right. But it's really about creating, realizing what path do I want to create? Right. What, what path do I want to create? What world do I want to step into? And realizing that you are, it's like you are the one who sets up these three wands to enter this portal into the universe, right? Boundlessness. There's an expansion of your mind. That's what I'm feeling, Virgo. Expansion of your mind, the broadening of your horizons. The broadening of your horizons. Shuffle a little more. another card with the lovers. Okay, Virgo, you pulled a lot of major arcana. All right. You pulled beautiful cards. Um, I feel like Virgo, did I say Gemini? Um, sorry if I did, but this is a Virgo reading. So, um, if not, and even if I did, there may be crossover. Okay. So, you may want to check that video out. Nonetheless, nonetheless, you pulled the star in your recent past. You pulled the high priestess in your near future. You pulled the magician as your hopes and or your fears. You pulled the lovers in your energetic pathway. So, and, and I'm noting that the lovers is flying into my rose quartz crystal that which speaks to compassion with ourselves and with others entering that more nurturing space a space that allows us to express ourselves right our truth to to um to to understand that it's it's um it's our wings that that carry us along our path right it's our flight that allows for the movement forward and the movement at all really right but the movement forward really so I'm sensing that you are you are 
waking up to that, waking up to, you know what? I want to fly. I want to fly high in the sky, in the sun, outside, right? I want to discover, I want to discover the world. Cause I know that there's a lot that lies beyond this situation that I've been in that is not satisfying me, right? An environment, a, f a friend circle that just doesn't speak to me, that overpowers, overshadows my personal identity in some kind of way that maybe, right, is linked to an entangled, confusing, emotionally unsatisfying situation where you feel somewhat bound or you did feel somewhat bound to remain in the situation. This could be coworkers, this could be love, this could be a, a work environment, right? Whatever it may be, whatever it may be. You felt like, ah, I'm somehow bound to the situation, I can't leave it, right? I don't really connect with these people or with this environment at my core. I know that there's a lot more that lies beyond this little sunset, right? That we're all three looking at at the same time together kind of as like one entity. It's like, it's like, I am, I want to be a creator, fire, creation, dynamic energy, right? Unpredictable, right? Boundlessness of possibility. There's a predictability to this card. It's kind of like, it's like, you know, I'm getting like this this vision of of like three cowboys who um, live in some desert town and they every day at the same time step into the saloon right and they order the same drink and they order um, the same appetizer or whatever it is that they order there. And they like all have the same kind of conversation every day, day in and day out, which is like monotonous. I'm feeling monotonous, but you feel somewhat like bound to it in some way, right? But you're not emotionally satisfied in this situation, okay? It's not bringing you a sense of actual intimacy with yourself or with others. It's like you can't even be you can't even be like open or honest in this kind of situation because you feel like I can't really speak out maybe about my individuality. I'm not able to express my personal truth. I'm not able to be right um, to 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 create really, and so. In Gemini got very similar cards. Gemini got very similar cards. I'm sensing that there is overlap, okay? So, so check out that video if you feel that there might be. Nonetheless, right, beneath the Two of Cups, you have the Empress. Gemini got the same, same sequence of cards, okay? The Empress speaks, and it was, it was also in their theme. The Empress speaks to, like, rising above a situation in which we felt maybe codependent in some way, tied to, bound to, dissatisfied by. But then we rise from that and we derive stability from not our situation, not our relation with our environment or, or others and how we may be similar to them, but really to our independence, our personal identity, mother of wands, as a creator, as a creator of our world, right? The Empress is a creator. She is the Empress. She's very fertile, very fertile. She is um, a fire card. So, but she's also stable. Three, tree, earth, right? So I'm feeling that maybe this was a situation where you felt even confused to some degree about how do I feel about the situation? Do I want to stick in the, stick around in the situation? Is this emotionally satisfying for me? Or is this not my truth, right? Am I in it because I feel bound to it? Like I can't speak out about wanting to leave it maybe? 
and maybe this is a situation that has been for quite some time for a while but I feel like you are waking up to your 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 ability to strike out on your own okay and to pursue the path that allows you to spread your wings and regain happiness that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling that all right absolutely um there's an element of independence okay that's that's coming up here and so in your deep past you have the five of wands we'll get right into it speaking to a chaos of some kind okay in terms of how to move forward okay how to wield our fire energy knowing hey we have this potential to bear a lot of fruit to create wondrous things wondrous things but it's a matter of, of um, defining with clarity the path and the passion that we have the um, the path that we want to move down in a new and enchanting way that speaks to our soul truth our dreams our hopes our wishes right so it's kind of like you had a lot of alternatives with how you can move forward with something and pursue this new path. And then you, in your recent past, had maybe that aha moment of, oh, this is my dream, this is what I want, yes, and getting really solid and really clear on that, making uh, the decision with clarity in your mind, even if it's not public quite yet, could be by this time, it could be. It will be different for um, different people though I'm sensing. Nonetheless, you stepped into a position of clarity after you had this aha moment, this realization of your inner truth and your dream and your passion. You had that even glimpse, that vision of the world that you um, so badly, right, dream of, that you know, yeah, that's where I want to go. That's my truth. That's my, that's my destiny in a way, right, to be a creator. So I feel that you were inspired, right? You were inspired from... from Going from having a lot of different options, like, oh, I can technically do this, I can technically do that, reached a point of inspiration, a vision, and you were like, yes, but that's what I want to do. There was clarity, ace of swords, right? Clarity, with that. And so, that led you to the Mother of Cups in reverse, motioning over to what is in your advice position, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Let me tune in one second. Ace of Swords leading to Mother of Cups, Mother of Cups being in your current state. One second. I will say this, this can also speak of a career. Absolutely, it can speak of a career and wanting to strike out on your own, entrepreneurially, right? Uh, down a path that speaks to your personal truth and independence. Your, your, your ability to manifest by way of your creative potential, okay? But the Mother of Cups is sort of like, um, she's like the conductor of magic, right? When you look at this card, she's kind of like casting spells. It's like a Harry Potter vibe to this card. And it's almost like she's in the universe, in the darkness, and there are twinkling stars around her. It's almost like she is a part of the atmosphere that we see on the card of the star card. But she's in reverse. So she's almost like not able yet to enter this dream world directly. It's sort of like she needs to, to temper her emotions, to ease into this new, down this new path in such a way, in such a way that allows for the steady growth of whatever this new project is, of whatever this new path is, you're being summoned, 
you're being summoned to 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 wait for some reason to wait for something to wait until something about either your environment or this project or this path becomes ripened right becomes ready to bloom so it's almost like you need to hold in your creative reserves and i feel that you are you're listening to your intuition you're like i want to do this right but i can't yet i have to wait until the time is right until the time is right to do it okay but i'm feeling that whatever this new whatever this new um path is for you it's going to be very fruitful very fruitful the nine of pentacles in your environment position is overlaying the six of pentacles in a way kind of mirroring each other like whatever you're waiting for this could be financial you may have to wait until you are financially able to step into this position right of of um of, of living through your dream taking it head on in a very active way in a very public way too you may need to wait until the financial aspect of it has um, been brought to a point that makes it possible right but here's the thing and I'm hearing liberates the, the path liberates the path there's some sort of maybe blockage right that's in your way that you're like, I have to, I have to, to get through this, right? Before I can step into my own, um, oh, with this path. Now in your environment, you have the nine of pentacles upright. And again, right? It's mirroring and it's hanging over the six of pentacles. I'm sensing that your environment is going to be conducive. Your environment is going to come through for you as it regards this need okay that you are waiting out so i'm um, sensing that that whatever you're waiting for will bloom will bloom come to fruition rather rapidly rapidly um to such a point where you need to make a decision about it okay it's it's um i'm sensing it's going to be like clear kind of like how when i was shuffling earlier it's almost like something slides in, like you are suddenly confronted with a situation where you're like, okay, I need to make a decision now. It's almost like you are being given the, the chance, the opportunity to move forward with whatever this is. All right. With whatever this is, your environment, you could even be receiving a sort of bonus, a gift of some kind, a um, support financial support of some kind that allows you to, to advance down this path. Okay. Now the high priestess in reverse in your near future, looking over at the magician, magician in your hopes and or your fears. So what's interesting is you have two cards that speak to spiritual wisdom and maturity, both in reverse sandwiching, sandwiching, the six of pentacles speaking to a pending energy right of needing to wait for time to turn but and they're both motioning off into the future and the magician is looking off into the future as well so there's a lot of energy of foresight having your vision set looking off into the future not yet being able to act um or enter this position or this this new environment quite yet quite yet because there's some element of it that needs to be um, resolved or enabled and so it's kind of like you're holding your vision and your dream deep inside of you and you're maintaining that faith and that optimism and that hope for entering this new world entering the sun sun in reverse right but the world your vision your hopes and your dreams are broad are 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 magnanimous okay and so it's about right 
stepping into the knowing of this path that will be coming about that you will be contributing to in a very active way soon soon i'm sensing that right the magician is kind of like i am ready to do this like i showed up with all of my elements there's there's one of each right on this card and i'm here to create by way of my personal identity my personal self-expression my creativity my existence here on this planet as a manifester as a creator of my world Look at this figure eight on the chest of this leopard. It's like, I am acting and I'm creating from a place that's real to me, my, to, to my connection, my soul connection with the universe, okay? With the world. And so there's a connection with your vision of what you wanna create and the future and the world at large and your place in it your place in that, your capability within that broadened perspective, right? To which you feel, yeah, right? I am ready to create. So I feel that you just need the okay go before you can do it. And the final outcome is the 10 of wands in reverse. I'm telling you, Virgo, Gemini got so many of the same cards. So please tune into that video as well if you feel there might be overlap, okay? Nonetheless, Ten of Wands in reverse speaks to um, needing, right, to absolutely do away with our old, transform rather, our old habit patterns, peacock hair <laughs> going on over here, old habit patterns, right, that were associated with this old way of doing things, with this old world. It's like all of these really wise characters that are waiting almost like in a single file line to, to, to be active, right? Mother of Cups, High Priestess, Magician, they're all looking over into the future at this card. So it's like the looming um, um, energy, right, is sort of all um, brought to a point of this release, closing out of the cycle of how we, um, even in terms of our habit patterns, right, performed our day in and day out routine. So it's a changing of habits, of patterns, of action, and even thought, perhaps, that we're doing away with. Okay, I'm feeling that you have like grown out of it, really. You've grown out of this. You have, you have um, transformed, right? You're like realizing this is not, that's not my, that's not where I'm going to truly shine. Okay. And so it's just a matter now of totally, right, doing away with it. And really stepping out of that environment. Now, you have in your energetic pathway, the lovers upright and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So the lovers are flying into the Eight of Wands in reverse. And you have two Wands cards, the Eight and the Ten, that you're flying out with. And you have the Five of Wands in your deep past, so you're going five, ten at the base, like doubled. But I will tell you this, I feel like you have like matured in terms of like your soul um, um, growth. It's like all of these characters here that are looking over at the Ten of Wands, it's like, they're so, they're like the wisest characters in, in the um, deck, right? And it's almost like they're all looking over at this Ten, like, we're waiting for you, like, like officially let go of all this, close the cycle out, right? Move through it, move beyond it. So that, right, you can fly, and you can ascend, right, into the sky, into the light, into the sun, right, however that may be into you. But I'm feeling that you're ready to do it. You're ready to do it, and you're going to do it, okay? You're going to do it, and it may, you may need to take a deep breath, right, right, before you, oh, yes, I'm going to go for it, I'm going to do it. And I'm sensing that 
this situation, whatever this is that you're leaving behind, you're facing this situation. You're facing because it, it could it could cause a shakeup of some kind, right? To your environment, to those around you. It could be it could be somewhat daunting, right? It's like, I'm going to have to change the way I do things. I'm going to have to change my lifestyle. I'm going to have to change my environment in some shape or form, right? And that could be a shakeup. But I'm feeling that that shakeup is invigorating for you, right? The magician is right beneath this eight of wands. Fire, right? The ignition of passion and creation. And what is leading up to this eight wands, this configuration of eight wands? It's this lightning bolt. And it's almost like by way of your drive and your self-reliance, your self-alliance with the knowing that you are a creator is what is going to empower this shakeup, this official change to the way that things have been done. The official letting down of all these wands, totally changing, changing it out, clearing house and moving right through it, flying right through it rather. Okay, so you're ready for this change. Beautiful. Beautiful Virgo. Um, wow, that was a lovely reading. So many major arcana speaking to absolute independence, self-empowerment, waking up to potential, true potential as a creator, your truth. Right? Um, beautiful revel in this in this lovely energy at the mid-period of March. Um, of course, energy is fluid, so it could permeate, right? before or after that period of time as well. Let's see. Um, oh yes, definitely check out your rising ascendant or moon sign as oftentimes those can provide you with further insights into your situation. I know that I resonate a lot with my moon, so it doesn't hurt to check it out. Um, if you don't know your signs though, just click the link below in the description box that I provide and that will compute your signs for you. All right. Um, Da, 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 da. I think that's it. I will be back soon in a few days, actually, with your first quarter moon reading. It'll be exciting to see how these energies um, culminate to the final point of the full moon. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right. It should be very interesting. Enjoy March. Thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in and for all your comments. Always. I read each and every one of them and I'm truly touched. All right. Thank you again. I'll see you soon. Bye.